this video we will talk about spin of elementary particles do you remember whenever your teacher or friend talk about spin you must have come with a mental picture of spinning top planetary object or maybe a ballet dancer because most of science and engineering students they think of spin of elementary particles such as electrons or a photon they think of it as solid spherical object self rotating about its own axis but this picture is incomplete why is that to understand let's do some maths as we know from elementary school angular momentum is donated by cross product of particle position vector and its momentum vector and from experiments we know that spin of electron is given by h bar by 2 which is 0.525 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second re is lorentz radius which is interaction radius of an electron given by 2.8 femtometers and me is the mass of the electrons so what if we put all these numbers together we may end up with a velocity which is equal to 67c what does it mean it means speed of rotation on the surface of electron is more than 67 times the speed of light which obviously violated einstein theory of special relativity which states nothing in universe can move faster than the speed of light so what do we understand from this first the electron cannot be visualized as point spherical particle and second spin is an intrinsic property of elementary particles like charge and spin can only be understood by quantum theory there is no classical analogous phenomena by which we can visualize it but that doesn't mean we cannot measure it there are experiments by which we can measure these intrinsic properties without visualizing it for example mass we know that proton is heavier than electron like charges repel each other and charge deflects in magnetic field so if we want to know how we discover spin and how do we measure spin subscribe to our channel physics gyata and watch more fun and informative videos